Okay, so we are back. Uh, this is our second session tonight, and we're going to do our placard. And um, we're going to do a quick review, uh, very quick in this case, of just five minutes or less of where everybody is right now. Where are all the Wilders? Where is the group right now? They discovered um, a portal system in this world. And the portal system was... Uh, they, they found the first one when they were at the top of this very narrow, tall pinnacle. And there was this giant stone altar, circular, um, uh, ruined thing in the middle with a golden fire burning out of it, and the fire gave no heat. They stepped into the fire. They found themselves in a kind of a mid-crossroads place that had a whole bunch of these, a giant golden hall. And they uh, had a few adventures there. And uh, one of those adventures was that uh, Percy ended up becoming permanently cursed as a weir tiger. Lucky him. And um, then they've decided to use this portal system now to try and explore the world. The first one they chose was one they've been able to figure out the names of these portals. And they like the name Lumina Cove. So they ended up in a tropical place somewhere in the world that they have no idea where it is. They're on a coast. They, once again, are on a pinnacle. This seems to be all of these portals are hard to get to, and they're all on these pinnacles in various parts of the planet. They climb down from that pinnacle onto the beach, and um, they're in a cove, and they, they it's a little bit, it's about half a mile or so across the water to the mainland shore which is to the east. They have decided to have a rest. Uh, they found some crab to eat because there are natural crabs all along the beach and there's lots of driftwood for fire. And Thaddeus, you decided that uh, you uh, wanted to investigate something. What was it that you wanted to do? Well, I went to investigate the um, what's in the ocean, see if there's any wrecks at the bottom of the the lagoon. Water's a thing for you, isn't it? Well, there may or may not be something in my family history about that. Oh, I see. Well, you do have a coat of arms, right? Yes. And what are, what's on your coat of arms? I think you've got one. The coat there. of arms has um, mermaids. Mermaids on it. And uh, how long can you hold your breath underwater? A very long time. Have you ever run out of breath underwater, ever? Run out of breath? Well, te technically, no. Yeah. So, what is it you decided at the end of the last session? Everybody else was uh, up for the crab feast. What did you want to go explore? Well, I was exploring the lagoon to see if there was anything in there um, to learn about this place that we have landed at um, and see if maybe there was some sunken treasure. So, you went for a swim? Yes. And what did you find down there? That has yet to be revealed. Well, I don't give away the, end, <laughs> the endings of books. Yes, but, but at the very end of the last session, I said that you saw what looked like a shipwreck. Ahead of yes, shipwreck. but they don't know this yet. Well, yeah, but they know because I told them. So <laughs> a little bit of metagaming here. The Game Master is allowing a little bit of metagaming. Here is what... Thaddeus saw. The rest of the party doesn't know this. Uh, if you go to the adventure scene, this is what Thaddeus saw. He saw something swimming very quickly away from him with a big tail and some long flowing hair. And uh, oh, hey Rob, hit the hit the Dave head down in the bottom there so that it'll turn me on. Go back to the adventure screen for a second. Yeah, there. That's, oh, oh, I'm sorry. That? Dave head, Dave head, Dave head. So, oh, okay. That's just That's a awesome. toggle you can turn on and off. Okay. And it'll put me in a few of the scenes so that it helps for, you know, just better Definitely. streaming. Yeah. Um, so this is what Thaddeus saw. That is exactly where we left off the evening, was that the rest of the party was all on the beach and Thaddeus was in the water, right? So, Go. I can tell you exactly what I would like to do. I have two spells that will be very suitable for us at this time. One is Water Walk, which indeed targets only one person, as you were suggesting. However, Water Breathing 
targets up to five people. Mm. And mm. I am totally intrigued by mermaids and sunken ships and stuff. So, Thaddeus, if you wouldn't mind, I'd like to come with you. Well, he left. He's already there. You would have to catch up to him. Oh, to my go. goodness. Well, there you go. Just wait a sec, though. So you have a spell water called go. water breathing? I do. Oh, all right. I got to go look at your uh, character sheet. Uh, for anybody watching, we use uh, Foundry. Uh, actually, we use the Forge website so that uh, our stuff is all handled there. Uh, we actually play with the Pathfinder character sheets. And uh, the nice thing about having them on it, which is why we have laptops, the nice thing about having all that stuff on there is that uh, we can look at everybody else's character sheets and they automatically update whenever we do stuff. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to go real quick, Lavinia. I'm going to look at your thing. Do you have water? So it's a oh, second. Yeah, there it is. Yep. 30 feet. It takes a whole minute to do it. So there's no way you could ever do it in combat, but uh, to cast it. But uh, 30 feet targets up to five creatures, duration an hour. Targets can breathe underwater. So would you guys like to go and explore with me? Sure. I, I wolf down a bit of crab, and yeah, well, I will you know, leave this here for now, and let's all go for a swim. What time was it that uh, we left off last time? Do you guys remember what time it was of the towards game day it was? I think. Wasn't it I thought it was mid afternoon. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll 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 just go with that then. It's mid afternoon. You've had your crab your your uh, crab feast, hmm. uh, and you're going to go try and catch up to Thaddeus. Is that right? Right. Yeah, I think we're just safer going as a group than we are just. Are you leaving anything behind? You're going to take everything with you. Um, I think we've got the bag of holding with us, so I'm not sure if that's waterproof, but. I'm going to say yes. Okay. So uh, Otherwise, uh, water would fill it up. Can you imagine? When you walk out. <laughs> it's got 500 kilograms <laughs> worth of water in this thing. You know? I guess you could just pour it out and drown somebody <laughs> with it at some point. You would be able to, but then all your stuff would come out with the water, I think, right? Especially a big buoyant. Well, yes. All of our, um, our ammunition would get wet. That's right. That yes. hasn't worked out well yes. for us in the past. Although I, I believe uh, historically they wrapped it in wax. Why don't we paper. put our our weapons into the bag of holding? Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. You can do that. Okay, which weapons are going into the... Well, you're going underwater, so you're not going to be shooting your guns anyways. No. No. I'm, right? I'm, I'm always... I'm going to keep my knives on me, but, no. um, but I'm putting my guns in the bag of holding. Okay. All right. That sounds good. Okay. All right. Silly question before we go. You Do you have a cantrip that allows you to speak... Mind to mind? I have a cantrip that... Message. Er Message. Yes. Can that work underwater, do you think? Can't see why not. It didn't say that it can't. I mean, if we do encounter mermaids, how are you going to talk to them? It only requires line of sight. Okay. All right. And that's a cantrip? It's a cantrip. Okay. Okay, before you go, let's go once around the table, then starting with Raven. We'll just go clockwise like usual. Any last things you want to do before you guys go, or any other ideas you have? No, I can't think of anything specific. I've got my spells ready, but they're not going to help me underwater, I don't think. Can I cast spells underwater? Uh, if you don't have to speak and it's just uh, using your hands, the answer would be yes. Okay, so but you're still like a new burgeoning wizard. You know, I mean, you guys are only level four, right? So I'm yeah. going to say I'm going to rule on a spell by spell basis. Okay. Well, all my spells have a verbal component, so I'm going to say no. Well, your fire <laughs> spells, they ain't going to work. I can guarantee that. Yeah. But, and, and your kinetic spells would not work very well either because, of course, whatever's traveling is traveling through water, not through air. But uh, there are other things you could try. You try electricity and see how... Electrical arc and see what kind of fun that was. <laughs> well, I'm going to cast well, mage armor on electric myself. Eels, electric yeah. eels swim yeah. in the water. So they yeah. do. that's yeah. a thing. And, and they create an electric field, which flows out from the one end and goes to the other. And that electric field, when you're in it, will shock you and cause you to lose right, consciousness. Right. Yeah. Good to know. I'll you're cast a me, magic uh, missile, or pardon me, a mage armor. 
Mage armor. Okay, all right. That lasts for eight hours. So we use these uh, spell slots. Mm -hmm. uh, these are poker chips that we use as our tokens. And that's how we keep track of all of our spell slots when we're playing the game. Um, okay, uh, so you are got major armor on yourself, Josephine. I would like to you? voice my concern here, guys. Just, um, like, we are just all going to have the ability to breathe underwater. That's great. It's only for one hour. So how are we going to tell when that hour is up? Well, we'll stop breathing underwater. Well, yeah, obviously, <laughs> but like you know, like we we don't want to go too far from the shore, is what I'm saying. Um, an hour is measured by the rounds that we take, and the yeah, game. Yeah, but that's only in combat. In this in case, combat. it's just kind of a a random thing. So I'll what I'll tell you what I'll do. I will warn you. Okay, you guys, right. as though you're keeping track with the timepiece. Right. Mm -hmm. When you've got 15, I'll do it in 15-minute increments, okay? So, so Yes, but he, he has no idea about this because he's already he's underwater. He's already underwater. That's yeah. right. He's not with you. Yeah. So, and um, would, do I have a timepiece or does anybody else have a timepiece? I would assume that you, that Raven for sure would have a timepiece and I don't see why Percy wouldn't. I mean, it was a standard thing for everybody to carry a pocket watch. Yeah. Um, I, do watches work underwater? Yeah, you gotta yes. be careful about that. You'd have to have it in something waterproof. Yeah, and, unless it was Swiss-made waterproof and blah blah blah. If you're gonna say something, that this might be have gone through the lagoon to the mainland. On that. That's possible. Yeah. So I'm going to start though by messaging Thaddeus. You can't see him. Does, uh, does it, have line does of it sight? say that I have to? Yes, you must have line of sight to message. You can double check for me on that, but I'm pretty sure. So, what about you, Percy? Last minute preparations. I I think uh, you know making sure that I've got my uh, Bowie knife secure in my wrist uh, waistband, mm -hmm. or and the uh, tomahawk is not going to be effective underwater, mm -hmm. so I'm putting that in the bag of holding. Uh, my rifle is in the bag of holding. My uh, yeah, and the sword is in the bag of holding, of course. So don't need that, but. Uh, I think that's good, and everything else is waterproof or water resistant because I'm part native, so we we're used yeah, to that. You're used to that. Yeah, we're used to being okay. I think, uh, and I didn't set the timer exactly for this, but I think it's time for Raven to drive. Would you please the, take oh, a look and camera. see if you're reading, if you can see it, because I'm not seeing anything about seeing it. The spell is called message, correct? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And you can see the result over there. Oh, there's another yeah. monitor there. Do, do, do. They, the target can give a re brief response as reaction or as a free action on the next turn if they wish, but they must be able to see you and be within range to do so. Range okay. 120 feet. I see that. Are you, okay. are you still okay with doing Rolling that, in? or are you concerned still? Or no, no, no. The only, my my concern was being able to tell time. Okay. That was so, my yeah. major. I'll give concern. you guys fifteen minute warnings just to keep. Could it you please give this to? Our so you are casting master? the spell, water breathing level two token. Yep. Okay, you cast the spell water bing, breathing. Bing, 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 bing. And the four of you. Turning to mermaids. Bubbles around your heads. Oh. <laughs> they are bubble heads, yeah. Um, just before we leave, I want to write a little scroll note in case Thaddeus comes back to where we were to tell him what we're doing. Yeah. Okay. And I leave that on the beach under a rock. Okay, sounds good. That's a good plan. All right, so you uh, head down in the water the direction that you saw Thaddeus going for his swim. Yep. As you make your way underwater and you start... Uh, it's mid-afternoon, so uh, there's lots of like, this is pretty clean, clear water. Um, as you start to work your way, uh, kind of walking, kind of kind of bouncing and swimming, you get further and further and deeper and deeper, and eventually coming into view 
ahead of you, there is a giant shape in the water, some kind of broken wooden structure. Uh, it looks like it's pretty much at the bottom of the cove. You're bottoming out now, and you would guess that you're probably 100 feet underwater by now, maybe a little bit more. Uh, but because it's midday, it's a clear day, the light comes through. There are lots of tropical fish around. Uh, and uh, you come up and you see this big wooden structure. And you do not find Thaddeus. What do you want to do? Um, shall we split up and look for Thaddeus? Stabby stab? <laughs> no split up. Not okay. worked well. S stay together? <laughs> okay. Okay, so right now you're probably about 20 feet, uh, you would estimate, through the gloom from what uh, what looks like one of the ends of this big wooden structure, which is obviously a crashed ship. And um, you've seen enough of them now uh, that you can't tell for sure, but your guess is uh, it's probably one of the flying ships that's crashed, not a, a, a seagoing ship but rather one of the airships that has crashed at this point. Okay, so we're going to go in inside. Okay. So we're going to look for an opening. Go. Okay, all right. So look as you make your way to the wooden structure, mm -hmm. and, uh, oh, I almost forgot to show you. Here, let me see if I've got it here. This is the structure. It's on the adventure scene. And you can have a look at it there. Here is the structure. Click the top button, third from the right or fourth from the right. Screen. Adventure scene. Yeah. There is what you see at the bottom of the coat. So as you uh, start making your way. You see the most of the middle of it as broken and pretty much dilapidated while both ends are still intact. As you make your way closer to it, all of a sudden a large shape comes uh, moving through the water towards you and uh, passes you going fairly quickly. And it is one of these. Mm. A big shark goes by you. Uh, it doesn't stop, though. It continues swimming on. But uh, it was obviously swimming through the wreck just before you got there. So, um, do you want to go inside the structure? Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. As you work your way to where uh, one of the uh, doorways, you find that the front part of the ship there's nothing in there's nothing inside the front part of the ship. It's just uh, an open area. Uh, you see some more crabs and uh, some other uh, sea life. I think there's an octopus in there. And uh, what else? Uh, you can also go Dave Head to Glen, and the Dave Head will give you a nice split screen of both of these things. That's Dave Head on and off. Dave Head two is below Dave Head. Dave Head one. Okay, I, I see poster. I don't see Dave Head 2 anywhere on here. Where's Dave? Oh, there's, there's Dave, Dave Adventure, I see. Oh, that? There we go. Okay. So that'll help you when we've got these kinds of adventure themes. Sure. Okay. All right. So uh, as you work your way in, uh, you find out that uh, the back half of the ship is actually the den for a pretty large creature, and actually it looks like this creature might even be trapped in there. Ooh. Mm. And it's just kind of sitting there with a whole bunch of little crabs around it. There is no butter candle in the world <laughs> big enough. <laughs> so, uh, are you going to Continue, or you're going to take it on, or you're going to leave, or what are you going to do? 
So there's there's nothing in this ship, like that you we can You don't know see? what's behind it. Well, I'm not. I don't really want to go face to face with that guy personally. Um, we've been joined by another fierce creature. <laughs> His name is Simon, and he is our dog, and he wanted to be picked up, which is rare. He usually doesn't want to be picked up during the game, so I'm just going to hold him while we do the rest of this for a few minutes. Right, little boy? Well, we're limited by the number of things that we could do to battle with this, so we can't use a lot of the things that we would normally use if we're on land, so I would probably recommend we get the heck out of Dodge and just leave it be. Um, what are your thoughts? I think we should uh, do a cursory examination of the ship and then bugger off to the shore if we can. So, To the actual mainland shore you mean? Yeah. Okay. We would, do, All right. you, do you guys think we should go to the go to the shore? All right, As opposed to the, the base of the... Go to the, the pinnacle. Yeah. So by uh, cursory examination, you mean you're not going to go into the main captain's cabin where this thing has made its den. This thing, by the way, is a, is a good seven to eight feet tall, right? Um, uh, but you mean around the outside of the ship kind of thing? Yeah. All right, roll to investigate. Oh, 19 will do it. Plus, I think, 10. Investigation. 17. So around, Raven, 17. 17. For investigation, Josephine. Uh, just a second here. You can add your perception to it, whatever your perception Perception, is. okay. Thank yeah, you. So. Um, so, 12 plus 9. Oh, sorry. Plus 11. 23. I got a natural 20, so Ooh. that would be 29. And I got 29 as well. So as you're making your way around the ship, Lavinia is the first one to notice that there is actually a little bit of strange current near the back of this big galleon that's laying there. And as you uh, come around the back of the galleon, the sandy slope is quite steep and the galleon seems to be just pushed right into the, the bottom and into the slope. Uh, of uh, the underwater ground and um, it looks like there's an opening about four feet wide there are fish that are swimming down into it and down out of it but there's a very steep part that's right up almost right next to the very back of the galleon and there seems to be some kind of opening there What do you want to do? It looks like Percy would like to go in. Percy would like to go in and swim and investigate. Are you guys going with him? Oh, you're not there. <laughs> <laughs> you. Are you scared? Are you scared? <laughs> I don't like going into small spaces. All right. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Would you guys like to watch on the outside while we go in, or do you want to come in with us? You're good to go? I'm not staying out here by myself. <laughs> okay, so. Don't pop your bubble. That's right, yeah, don't pop your bubble with it's your magic bubble. It's a magic bubble. I suppose you could even eat through it, because you're right, it's a magic bubble. You could probably do that. Okay, uh, as you do that, uh, you find that there's actually an underwater passage that goes on ahead of you, uh, and it looks like there's there's a very, very faint light ahead of you about 100 yards. Okay. So potentially this could be the mainland. Okay, can, can you still cast light? That's a good question. We'll have oh, to, I forgot to <clears throat> shipwreck the, the ask yeah. he who knows these things. 
So my understanding as a wizard is we can't, if we can't speak, we can't cast spells, at least most spells that have a verbal component. I don't think this, I'm looking to see if it has a verbal component. I think there's maybe a, a dozen spells that don't have a verbal component. Unless you have a feat that allows you to do so, there's no spell casting without it. I'm going to say that because light just requires, uh, because it's a touch, I'm going to allow light to be cast whether or not there's a verbal component or not. So Yeah, there's nothing in here that indicates a verbal component. Yeah, it doesn't have anything in that description. So yeah, if you want to, you can touch one object, light it up, and use it as a light. You're going to, you're going to do that on Percy's hat? Okay. So Percy's hat is now glowing. And you are going into the cave, are you? Oh, I see it's bouncing and flowing. All right. Uh, you get the 100 yards in. Who's with him? I am. We all are. We all, all are. are. Mm -hmm. Did everybody go? Mm -hmm. What's yep. the order? I'm who's first. first? Who's second? Who's third? Me first. Do Percy we need to first? roll, I'm, I'm roll initiative or anything? No, no, I didn't say that. I just wanted to know the, the, the marching order. I'll be at the end. Okay, you'll be at the end. We'll put the squishy wizard and the, the uh, uncomfortable gunslinger in the middle. <laughs> Fine. So uh, Percy gets to the end, and all of a sudden the ground slopes up in the passage, and you can see a pool oh. above you that okay. you can climb up uh, into, uh, and uh, there is some faint phosphorescent light okay. it doesn't look like it's sunlight it looks like it's uh kind of a glowing light blue phosphorescent light that's inside whatever this uh area is that's above the water kind of like the blue that's on the crab kind of like the blue that's on the crab that's right kind of a glowing blue okay and you say things slope up and there's a bit of a surface so is there a pocket of air uh well you can see looking up that yeah there's a surface there so there's definitely air above it because you can see the surface of the water ripple all right well i will carefully and cautiously approach the surface and peek out <laughs> all right as you peek out it looks like a very large underwater cavern that opens up on both sides uh i i should say subterranean cavern because it's not underwater the water stops and it's all it's all filled with air. You smell quite a, a dank, musky air uh, that uh, that's, fills this cavern, and you do not see any movement at all. There are a lot of rocks and a lot of stalactites. I'm going to go to a new map for all of you, and we are going map. to activate it. I am going to have to figure out, what does that say? says uh, you have been inactive for two hours in case oh, this is wrong. Is this I am here? Confirm. I'm here. Yes. Did I click it? Good. Okay. Let's zoom up the... Hey, how come this map doesn't have any shadows on it? Mm -hmm. Well, I guess we don't have shadows this time. So do we want to carry on going on here or do we want to go back and see if we can find Thaddeus and then come back out here again? Well... Once I emerge from this into an air pocket, we can talk about it. Yeah. Um, yeah. We did leave a note. We left a yeah, note. Yeah, but we Instead. said that we'd be back, and then we've decided yeah. now that we're going to go to... No, there's no way that we can remotely access or, or indicate anything to him, is there? Really nothing. Well, depending on where that comes out... I don't think there's going to be a see line that. of sight for him. No. Okay, do you guys see the cave opening right here? Mm -hmm. Do you guys want to put your minis there where the cave opening is? Yeah. That is where you come out. Thaddeus is not with you. But I, I have this feeling that Thaddeus has either been abducted or gone off. And I worry about him, but he is a grown being. And he's probably playing cards with the mermaids. Probably trying to get some tail. Oh, <laughs> nice. Not. Uh, I don't know why the simple fog did. Uh, 
didn't work, but I'm just going to turn this on because uh, there you go. Okay. Well, they could always slip him off. <laughs> okay, so this is where you find yourself. What are you planning on doing? Um, uh, we're, we're exploring at the moment, but uh, Lavinia, you had some concerns. Oh, my only concern is that if Thaddeus goes back to where we were and we aren't there, he's going to wonder where the heck we are. But we also run the risk of uh, running into that huge crab, the huge um, shark, shark okay. and maybe the octopus. Yeah, so let's keep on going and seeing where this goes and see how we can somehow connect. Feeling that it goes to... Roll an investigation side. check. Yes. Okay. Mine sucks. Critical fail. A one? Mm hmm Lavinia, in investigating... Uh, trips over and her own skirt and falls flat on her face in the mud. She doesn't get hurt, though. She just gets really muddy. What about everybody else? 24. 24. Mine sucked. Lucky for you, Josephine notices some imprints in the mud. Ooh. And one of those imprints is very clearly a shoe print that she would recognize anywhere. Oh, okay, All so right. we're following Thaddeus now. Yep. Great. Awesome. Unfortunately, in searching, because 24 is a good role for investigation, in searching, uh, Thaddeus is not walking properly. As mm -hmm. a matter of fact, apart from a few places where you see the occasional footprint, it looks like he's doing more stumbling than walking, and in fact, even being dragged. Uh-oh. No. That's what the tracks tell you. Okay. So you could tell us that. Can oh, you? Yes. And so it looks like he's being dragged, as indicated by these footprints. Yes. I oh. am glad that we have rangers with us who can track these Sorry, things. Sorry, useless at the moment. <laughs> oh, if he has been captured, I shall avenge him. We will free him. Hey, give me my guns. Okay. I Thank you. I'm going to unpack the bag of holding. I'm going to unpack the bag of holding and give her her guns. Thank you. Anybody else need things from the bag of holding? Well, we'll go around one more time. Uh, Raven, is there anything you want to do right now or change? Um, I will um, put on my glasses of sight, my goggles. night vision goggles. Night vision goggles. It does help a little bit to see in here. Uh, you can see the, the, the tracks and the signs of struggle that... Uh, 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 Josephine was talking about, right? One of the other things that Josephine notices is that besides uh, the shoed prints of Percy that are erratic, there are also quite a few different booted prints hmm. of unsteady gait, and then there are some bare feet. Pirates and lost boys. So, who's moving where? Move your minis where you're going to go. Let's move Let's forward. Let's have a game, game map so we can see what's yeah. going on. Abuela Mala is tingling in my hand. Abuela Mala. All and right. And she is saying, beware the undead. Hmm. Oh. Abuela Mala has... Decided to weigh in. I just had shivers go through me. Where's your, where's, where's her bail on? We'll drop so people know. Because we didn't introduce her in this video yet. So here yep. we go. That's your dead grandmother? Yes. My and dead speaks grandmother to speaks to me regularly and gives me inspiration and guidance for all of us. She kind of watches over all Who of us. Who was Abuela Mala? Abuela Mala actually was a witch. Oh, a bruja? A bruja. I see. So, she was, she was Mexican, right? Yeah. What's a bruja-ha then? 
<laughs> that's when a whole bunch of them get together and they just cause a big storm of problems. I, I highly advise you to not make fun of you any brew hawk at any time. Because they're a real thing. I changed my mind. I'm pulling out the black bow. <laughs> All right. So, oh boy, the Mala says there could be undead. Uh, and uh, so Percy's pulling out his black bow. Yep. Josephine's got her guns. Yep. Raven's got his all of his wands yep. ready to go, and he's happy now that he can actually cast spells again. Yeah, you I yep. can tell. So I've got the tomahawk in its in its holder. I've got the 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 Bowie knife in its sheath, and I've got my black bow ready to go with the holes with the quiver. I have my sickle. So, I have my holy water. I oh, yes. Mm. Guys, Thank you for the reminder. Holy water. holy water. Yeah. Do you have your whip? I do. Not my whip. You actually really do have your whip too, right? Mm -hmm. yep. Whip it out. Oh, Let's whip see it out. that whip. Whip it, Hold it up. Everybody, look at this. This is one of the fun things that we do in our game is we actually have props. Look at this. I oh think it goodness. was was Raven that got you that? Glenn, yeah. you bought that for yeah. you. Yeah. Raven found it for me at a flea market, was it? No, it was um, Apothecary in oh. in the deep, uh, deep New Orleans. Oh, an Apothecary oh. in New Orleans. Is there anything unusual about your whip now, Josephine? Uh, it now has a magic element to it. Um, let me just see here. There, we found what was almost like a bracelet, and it clip, clamped on, and it now has magic properties. Um, yeah, I think it's got like a plus, uh, plus one to attack and plus two to damage. And I believe, actually, I fixed the stats on your whip. If you haven't looked at your whip uh, recently... Yeah, I'm just yeah. It says off. ruined whip. Um, Simon never does that. That's the first time Simon's ever jumped up and sat with me while we were playing like this. Hmm. Um, look at Josephine's character. Yeah, sheet. Can, it's uh, plus eight to strike. I think what happened was I fixed the damage because it was like a crappy puny. Four, and now it's three d three d three d four slashing. So yeah, it's a lot better because it makes it a useful item when you're fighting. Okay, so you've got that. Uh, who's moving? You guys, move your minis where you need them. Okay, um, I I need the break. Okay, <coughs> so we're moving up the coast here. Are you following me, Josephine? Absolutely. Okay, and. Uh, Move up to here. Uh, do you guys want to go this across, or are we can going we, around this can way? Can we see where the footprints are going? Yeah, we're going to follow the footprints. Footprints. Yeah, well, uh, Josephine was the one who sussed out the footprints. Maybe she should go first. Fine. Okay, Josephine, follow those footprints. Josephine, roll another uh, investigation check. Any point? <coughs> Seventeen. Seventeen. You notice there are a lot of fish in this little stream. Oh. And they seem to be kind of keeping pace with you right now. Well, how are their fishies? Something fishy about them. Mm -hmm. Maybe maybe the uh, fish are watching us. Maybe they're spying on us. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I guess we'll just keep moving in this direction, yeah? Okay, I'm going to move. You're going to run out of map pretty quick. I'm going to move the map to assist you. Okay. Let me bring this mouse over here. Did you notice there's a lot of cat hair on this cave? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for pointing that out. That's because Larry likes to lay on this table and I didn't get it cleaned TV off. Well, is actually, he did warm. in the middle of the game, didn't he? <sighs> Can we do the, this, this view? It's on this view. Oh, it's on map? Oh. Yeah, it's oh, on map. Weird. Um, yeah, okay. Do you want it up there in the back? No, 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 no. No. Okay. I just, just forgot, I forgot what right was now. in the... Um, where yeah, there's a crab behind you, yes. In the, uh, I'm going to decrabify the, the uh, thing. 
going to give you back. Screenshot was a crab. Something something nice like this. Okay. We don't have a lot of adventure scenes. We only have about four or five for the thing today. Could we that's not bad. The map up there? I can't see how you And you can't see this map here? The one that's Let's do it like this. Hold on. I can I can do it. I'm here. Let me just uh do it like this. Simon, what's your deal? Excuse me. The creature from the abyss has spoken. What's the name? He wants food or something. Simon, will you roll a perception check? <laughs> to see if you can tell where the bowl is. Okay, there is uh, the adventure scene. There's the same map up on the adventure scene. Okay, yeah. does that work for you? Yeah, that's fine. You can't see the minis, though. You gotta look over your Here. computer. Here. It's good. Okay. Yeah, I can't. Can't do it both ways. It can be one or the other. It's yeah. all good. Okay. So, um, and we keep moving. We're gonna keep moving. Gonna keep moving. You see, uh, basically, it looks like quite a large scoop of fish has been following you along. And as you've been walking, they're following in the stream. <clears throat> These fish are freaking me out a little. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you should magic missile those guys boiling no, and then I'm, keep I'm them. I'm going to message. Yeah, them. Do you speak fish? I have the ability to, if I can see them, I can think to them. Okay, I'm going to move the map one more time based on where you <clears throat> have gotten to. And I'm just going to push it all the way up over here like this. If you could put yourselves back up that trail. Right to the very top of the map on that trail. Because you guys are way up there. That's right, right there. As you come to this point, nobody needs to do an investigation check to notice that ahead of you, laying on the trail, looks like what appear to be body parts. Mm. As specifically in this case, a leg. Do we recognize whose leg it is? Does not look like Thaddeus's leg. Uh, a little further on, uh, you see what looks like an arm that's been hacked off at the shoulder. And then a little further on, you see a body laying there uh, that does not have an arm and a leg on it. It is not Thaddeus. In this case, it looks like it's some kind of dead pirate. Hmm. Mm. Laying face down. Okay. I, I'd like to search the pirate's semi form. I'd okay. like to search Wait, what's left of them. Did Did Lavinia talk to the fish yet? She was trying to talk to the fish. Well, I have this bee speak, so I wonder if I can use that on the fish. Sure, why don't you try? Can I try the bee speak on the fish? You can try bee speak on the fish, but it's not fish speak, so it's not going to work. Oh, okay. What do you guys do? Stop it. I'd, I'd like to try message to the fish. Since message can... to the fish? Does message work on a fish? Can I see? Well, you know what? I'll tell you what. What we're going to do is we are going to take a break. When we come back, you get to message the fish, okay? Uh, but our timer has gone off. Actually, it was six minutes overdue. Um, so I'm going to just uh, have us uh, take a break. We're going to be right back. We're going to take ten minutes. Ten minutes, okay?